Hello friends, welcome to the second tutorial in face detection and recognition systems under the subject digital image processing. In this series we are talking about uh, face recognition systems. We are building up our knowledge of designing a robust face recognition system, what all techniques are used, what all methods are used in face recognition systems. Now in order to study those, the basic fundamental generic face recognition system needs to be understood and I've drawn the block diagram of a basic, very basic face recognition system is there. I've drawn this system here. Now it has five different blocks. As I mentioned in the introductory tutorial uh, where I discussed difference between the face recognition and face detection terminologies. The first block of a face recognition system is face localization or face detection. We are talking about human face here. Now, face localization or detection is extracting certain image area as a face. So, this is the key phrase here so again I take up the example from this comic now let us take this image now in this image the first block is going to detect this region this particular region here as a human face so it will focus all its energies on this particular area so that is what the first block will do and once a face is uh, detected in an image it goes to the next part or the next block which is face normalization and it is pretty critical uh, because uh, using a vector of geometrical features the the extracted features I'll write down the key phrases first and then I'll explain the extracted features are normalized to make them independent of position, scale, rotation, etc. So phase normalization will, will be something that would, that would kind of crop the image and it will let only the face in, in the entire canvas. So phase normalization is going to uh, you know crop the image and it will crop out all the other things and it will focus on just the uh, vectors of the geometrical features of the face so that we can focus all our energies in recognizing the face in the next steps so out of um, out of the n not usable things in the image will just extract the face in the face normalization uh, block here. Now uh, some critical uh, operations happen in the coming blocks. The third block is feature extraction. Now this stage is critical as I mentioned not because uh, it does most of the computing job 
but also this is where uh, the various algos change for various face recognition systems so the classification of face recognition systems the the types of face recognition systems they start to stem out from this block onward so here is where uh, various algos are implemented to extract uh, the features out of the face now we know that a face is a human face will constitute features like eyes and nose and ears and mouth and so on and so forth so in this stage a the meaningful feature subset is extracted Now please understand this point is very important because a face could have let us say uh, 25 uh, set 25 features set and in recognizing a face for a particular system we have identified only 10 face features ranging from eyebrows to eyes to nostrils and to um, upper lip and lower lip and so on so out of all the face features we have identified that we are going to work with 10 um, meaningful features and <clears throat> so meaningful feature subset is extracted from original data the original data is the normalized face which contains all the information of a face uh, this is done by applying certain rules <clears throat> now it essentially consists of uh, extracting face components like eyes nose mouth etc from, from a human face image so <clears throat> it is important to initialize this this step is super important to initialize process of face tracking and facial expression tracking or in, in other words it is the foundation stone of uh, face recognition where we kind of extract the face components which are going to be decisive in making uh, a final final decision as to whether we are going to accept that face or we are going to reject that face so super important feature the next the next feature is dimensionality reduction and by the way uh, this certain rule by applying certain rule this is the key word which which will implement various algorithms so there are face recognition algorithms like geometrical algorithm geometric based algorithm template based algorithm so depending upon those algorithms the the entire system is classified the entire system is evolved so once we have uh, this part sorted out then we have dimensionality reduction now please understand that feature extraction will will extract the subset or the meaningful uh, feature uh, subset from the original data for example i mentioned eyes nose mouth and so on and so forth so this dimensionality reduction can be thought of as feature selection procedure let us say we identified five uh, five facial components which are eyes eyebrows upper lip lower lip and nose now out of those uh, five facial components now we 
we are going to reduce that selection uh, from the original feature set to make a decision. For example, our, our security system that allows someone to enter into uh, the premises uh, is based upon the the eyes or the uh, the distance between the two uh, eyelids so what we are going to do is in dimensionality reduction block with the feature selection we are going to select a subset of the original feature for example we will restrict ourselves to only eyes and the distance uh, vector distance between the uh, eyes so this feature is also very important because now we 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 are approaching towards a goal of uh, recognizing a face and making a decision uh, which is meaningful in our system so please understand feature extraction and feature selection they happen uh, uh, one after the other feature extraction uh, will be done from a normalized face it will it will give us the information of all the facial uh, components that we have meaningful facial components that we have in an image of a human face and then out of those facial components we are going to select very few components to make our decision and once those components are selected it passes on to the last block which is known as classifier which is uh, which does the job of matching the database for example we we selected eyes and we have known the color of the eye and the size of the cornea and the distance between the eyes so that will be matched bit matched with the uh, database of uh, all the registered users that the system has and it will make a decision based upon that whether the person is registered user or whether the person is an employee or not whether he has gotten his face scanned before or not a classifier is basically classification we have uh, a huge database of users with their uh, facial uh, components registered with us so this is going to be matching the input image of the face to the ones that we have in the database so that will help us making a decision or making a result out of it so that is how a generic face recognition system works and it has five different blocks the first block is the face detection and please understand face detection or the face localization though it may uh, sound like a very meager task it, it is not because it falls under the category of pattern recognition which is which is again a study it, it is a prelude of uh, image or face recognition system so once a pattern is recognized in an image and our pattern is a human face only then the next steps make sense so I hope this basic uh, generic face recognition system um, that I explained was of help and if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel that will be a great help I'll see you in the next video take care goodbye